I'm Jenny, Jenny Bray. I teach Drew Yoga in Macclesfield. I just, this is just to show some of you out there that you think yoga is for flexible people. Just to remind you, you only get flexible by coming to class. Because so many people say to me, oh, I can't come to your class, I can't get my foot around my head. Well, neither can I. And then I wasn't flexible until I did the yoga. So I'm just going to go through some basic Drew Yoga moves to show you what the elements are of a class. Starting with simple activation. Shaking your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders. You just shake off the day or that week if you're coming once a week. Shake your legs. Just to get the blood flowing. Get yourself in the mood for movement. Hips and shoulders. And then the first spinal movement, very gently, take your feet to shoulder width, and we just turn from the hips, moving into the spine. Just feeling what your spine's doing. It's enjoying a lovely twist at the base, especially if you've been sat or stood all day, you bite your back and tighten up at the base. And this is just loosening out the spine. And then you can take your legs wider and start to turn to the side. Just as simple. So you've already moved your spine. Slow down. In Drew Yoda we do sequences called energy block release. As you go through your day, and you see, especially as you watch TV, if you watch TV, or you might be something you've read, negative things or things that are happening in the world that are not so good and they stick in your mind and they can manifest or if you've got a worry or somebody's been rude to you or you've seen somebody have an argument even if it's not your argument it can work its way into you into your organs and long term will cause disease and illness so it's nice to release any tensions from the mad world we're living in today Energy block release movements are very simple. For example, just a standing stretch. Or a gentle side bend. You lengthen the spine and tip. And just all that stretching out of the ribs and bending of the spine. In energy block releases, we take the spine in each direction. So there's the side bend. We've already done some twisting, but a full standing twist would be like this. Can you see from the base of the spine up to the neck, then you turn the head, and we do both sides into a twist and relax. Bringing the feet back to hip width, we move the spine backwards and forwards. You support the back, the back bend. Lift the sternum, keep your eyes forward, or the gardening pose, I call this. And then for forward bend, you can just come as far as is comfortable for you. You should start with a flat back. The important thing here is to bend your knees to uncurl into this beautiful spinal wave, flowing from back bend forward bend. Coming down as far as is comfortable for you, pushing through the heels, the knees. Yay! Hello! Cats like yoga too. <laughs> Coming on. So we've taken the spine in each direction. Come on, can do some yoga. We are going to do what's called the standing cat now. And cats love yoga too. It's nice to do cat, cat yoga, isn't it? I'll show you the standing cat, just in case you haven't got enough floor space or you've been in the office and your back's aching. We come to stand, well sometimes they call it sumo cat. So we stand like this, hands above the knees. I'm going to show you sideways on. Very simple but very effective for the spine. Give yourself a cat's tail. Cat's tail comes under, dome the back to the ceiling, chin to chest. Now you're going to take your cat's tail into the air, tip your hips, your eyes come along the floor, look 
look up to the ceiling, your back's in a dip. And you just flow, pull on your abs, moving the spine segmentally, focusing on your spine into dip and down. This is dip, this is down. And curling when you've had enough. Standing cat, very simple, very effective on the spine. We also do sequences, reference to the sun, the moon, the earth, the rain, um, which are very easy to learn. Simple moves, which I just teach progressively, and are fun to do in a group. At the end of your yoga, you get to lie down, and we have a lovely relaxation. You just lie down. And I talk you through breathing, relaxing, and the skills that you will learn to take home, for, especially when you can't sleep at night, and you just practice the tensing and the relaxing of the muscles and the breathing, breathing away worries to help with a good night's sleep. So come and try Drew Yoga in Jenny's class any Monday in Macclesfield. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Bye.